The project shown in this video can be found in the textbook Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD, available from SDC Publications. In this video I'm going to show you how to do the 3D bracket, which you can find in Chapter 13. The first step that I need to do is to open up the bracket prototype drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and open. I'm going to go to the shared directory. I've got 1405 prototype drawings. This is in Chapter 13 and I'm going to do the bracket. And as you can see, everything is in here already set up for you. I do need to put myself into the 3D um, workspace. I am right now in drafting an annotation. I'll pull this down and go to 3D modeling to get all the information that I need. All the toolbars. I'm sorry, not toolbars, ribbons. And I'm already set in conceptual. I'm already set into that southeast isometric view. Now, on, in the book, it actually shows a picture of the parts that I'm going to need to keep out of this project. So I'm going to go ahead and come through here and just trim out what I don't need. Trim and erase the parts that I don't need. Just like I see in the book, and I don't need this little middle section. I'm just making it look exactly like the picture in the book here. So I'll erase out these guys. And I just need this little triangle here, so... Trim that out. Alright, making it look just like we have in the book here. Now the next step that I'm going to do, it says to extrude. The easiest way to do this though is to do the press pull. So instead of extrude, I'm going to go ahead and do press pull. It's the easier way to do this. So press pull, click inside the area like you're going to do a hatch. So I'm clicking inside this area. The nice thing about press pull is it, it goes ahead and subtracts out those circles for me. So I'm going to go ahead and make this the thickness that it has in the sketch. So that's a 0.75. I'm going to press pull this, that goes down a depth of 0.75, and I'll press pull this, oops, and that is 0.6. So I've got all the 3D parts taken care of, I just need to rotate them and move them into place. So I'm going to use this guy up here, it's the 3D rotate command. I'll take this part and this part, select the ring or the axis around which I'm going to rotate these and I'll just type in 90 degrees, move him straight up. I need to rotate this guy one more time, so I'll repeat that command, and he needs to rotate this way, 90 degrees. Oops. There we go. 90 degrees that way. Now I'm just going to do the move command and move everything into place. So, I'm just going to move. I'll pick him up right here, snap him here, and I will pick him up from the midpoint, snap him to the midpoint right here. I'm almost done. The only thing I have to do now is extrude, or I'm sorry, union all three of those parts together. And when I union it, you see all the lines go away between the different parts, and that's it. I'm done. You can move this kind of out of the way, and I would if I were you go ahead and delete out all of those. So we've got our 3D bracket. 